here are my three things that I want to see in Raspberry Pi 6. Number one, better power configuration. So Raspberry Pi 5 uh, just have like five volts uh, USB and it needs five amp uh, power brick, which is like this, uh, which is very non-standard. They had to make it themselves. And the problem is you can't really use some kind of uh, power bank with it. Uh, what everybody else in the industry is using is power delivery. So if you have a smartphone, Apple, Samsung, whatever, they use uh, USB power delivery to charge it faster. Uh, I'm going to show you how it works. So if I have this power bank, I'm going to plug, plug the USB-C. And if you can see, it's going to be just five volts. Uh, and this is, uh, it's not a one from Harry Potter, but this is like a prime example of what USB power delivery can do. So it's a soldering iron that <laughs> runs on USB power delivery. And this thing needs uh, 60 watts. So I'm going to power it and watch what happens. You see, 20 volts. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and this is how every modern thing like uh, iPhone, Mac, uh, Samsung, whatever, even the NVIDIA digits and devices uh, operate. Because uh, you want to increase voltage, not uh, the current, you know, because then you don't need a thick wire uh, for the higher current. And also the temperature is better when you use a uh, higher voltage like they use with power delivery, not here. Uh, another thing uh, I would really love to see is get more uh, PCIe lanes here. Uh, Raspberry Pi 5 just have one PCIe Gen 1 and it's better to have more, you know. F for example, here I have some kind of extension <coughs> slot for uh, Halo and SSD. Uh, but this thing is, uh, you know, every SSD basically you can buy now. Uh, will be like 3000 or more megabytes. Uh, nowadays it's like 14,000, it's even more common. This thing can only accommodate like 900 megabytes. So the higher uh, PCI gen you go and the wider it is, it can get uh, better throughput. And that way you can use more AI accelerators, more SSDs uh, and with better speeds. How they can do it is basically probably getting a new SOC from Broadcom or by sacrificing some kind of other connectivity because USB, Ethernet, display, everything is connected mm, through SS, uh, to PCIe. <clears throat> and lastly, uh, I would love to see if they kind of integrate better discrete uh, GPUs like what uh, Jeff Gerling, the YouTuber, has been doing. Uh, he has like a nice GitHub repo, I will link it. And he's testing all of these uh, cards like AMD, Intel, Nvidia, whatever. And they're actually working, but they need better PCIe, like the wider bus and better speeds to actually run. And this, if they made a PCIe better, this would allow these GPUs to run with Raspberry Pi 5. Mm -hmm. And this would position Raspberry Pi 5 uh, to likes NVIDIA uh, and not like some Chinese clones like Radix or Orange Pi. And uh, it would make this uh, Raspberry Pi 6 such a good product that it would rival, you know, the Jetson devices by NVIDIA. I would, I would buy, even, even if one of these three uh, would uh, get into the Raspberry Pi 6, it would be a massive, I think, win for Raspberry Pi. So that's it. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Maybe that you have some other uh, things you could improve on Raspberry Pi 5. Let me know. And that's it from me.